he did say at one point last season, I, I know my budget, and compared to recent Rangers managers, it's as, you know, as much as anybody and more than anybody else has got. So he was kind of talking up the budget at the time, towards the end of last season. And then after the game on Sunday, he was saying, oh, I mean, 13 million and nine players. He was almost sort of then playing it down as if to say, look, yeah. You know, did you did you sense that? No, or was it just yeah, just, absolutely. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, it's the same budget that Gio Van Bronckhorst got the year before, pretty much. And you know, he, we we saw what happened to him. You know, Stephen Gerrard spent similar sums. I mean, this is the kind of budget that Rangers have had to deal with in, in recent seasons. So, but you know, uh, is there any sign that, that Danilo is, is providing any? Value for money for the, the sums they've spent on him, Cyril Dessers too, Sam, you know, they've, they've spent this, you know, large amounts of money, or not, not large amounts as maybe Michael Beale will feel. Yeah, 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 the guys yeah. he's brought in still aren't in the team, you know. Not the team. I mean, if you know, you're only team... three started at the weekend, and one of them is because Borna Barnasic is out injured. You know, the other one's a goalkeeper who's, you know, Butler, I think he's the only one in the new sign so far that has been... You know, above criticism, I think he's been excellent. You know, he's the only one that's sort of performed to what you would call Rangers levels. The rest, I think, have just been, you know, yeah. far from, a long way from what is what's required. Yeah, I mean, do you wonder what you wonder how these conversations go after? I mean, it's obviously very raw uh, on Sunday, but I mean, do you think James Bisgrove or, and John Bennett? You know, do you think when they're talking to you, Mike, will be say, you know? Why you know playing Danilo when we spent X? Why you know spent you know why do you, do you think they, they they start to question him or or can you just you know, just, you know go there I'm, with a manager? Is that interfering? I'm sure that is. I mean, obviously, you know, if you're the guy, you know, signing the checks, I think you've got every right to be asking your manager, yeah. going, you know, <laughs> what we're getting for this. Yeah, um, I did think it was interesting I mean, as as I, as I say as I walked. Along the, the press gantry uh, full time, I turned around, I looked up at the director's box, and I could see. John Bennett and, and Douglas Park sort of having what looked like a very grim conversation. The two of them were, you know, looked like they had the weight of the world in their, their, their shoulders. You could see that, you know, it wasn't just Michael Beale that was getting stuck. There was people sitting around them in the main stand, you know, venting their anger at the, the, the board as much as the manager was getting it. So they will know the strength of feeling of the supporters and they will have every right themselves to be wondering what they're getting, what value they're getting for the money they've spent this season. You know, Michael Beale might not think it's a huge amount of sums, huge sums, but, you know, uh, you know, you look at Celtic, I mean, yeah, they, they've got a bigger budget, they've got, you know, they've got money in the bank, but they haven't splurged huge amounts this summer. They didn't splurge huge amounts last year in terms of net spend. Um, and they've just they've spent their money wisely. They've they've gone out. They've recruited well. They've obviously had Ange Postecoglou in the last year, last couple of years, and his knowledge of say the Japanese, the Korean markets, they've been able to make that money go a lot further than what Rangers have, and that's the frustration. You know, I, 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 as much as Celtic, I think have had a financial edge over Rangers the last few years. They're not. They're still not going out and spending, you know, 10, 15 million pounds on, on players because you know in order to do that, you have to spend 10, 15 million pound wages. Yeah. Or these players and I mean Celtic aren't doing that wage bills are you know yeah. fairly similar there's, there's not a huge amount in it so it's just what what is the big difference is the returns that both clubs are getting from, oh, exactly. from their, from their and, where, and where that argument falls down in the case of Sunday is that they didn't have these players yeah yeah you know I mean you know it was as Liam Scales at the back and it's you know whoever else I mean yeah I mean put this way I mean that was Rangers virtually at full strength. Well, exactly. that's, the that's, team of, of the squad that Michael Beale has constructed, that is the, the squad that Michael Beale yeah. and James Bisgrove himself thought would be good enough to get them through into the Champions League and cope in the Champions League. Well, Celtic, you know, you're missing, you know, Carmen Carter Vickers, you're missing uh, 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 Mike Naroski, you're missing, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, and you know, having also get rid of the likes of Jota, yeah. Um, so. You know, I think that's the concern. Celtic from here, you imagine, and also having brought in a couple of men, you know, you imagine Paolo Bernardo will, will, will be looking to make an impact. They've obviously brought in Nat Phillips. You know, this is a team that Celtic are going to hope is going to get stronger as the months go by. You know, they can't. This was a chance. Celtic, you know, pretty weak lineup. You know, not anywhere near the strongest, and yet Rangers still couldn't take advantage. And I think that's the, the huge concern for for the, the Rangers support and and the board.